Hey, it's Sam. If you're watching this video, then you're probably wondering what the cons are of affiliate marketing. Well, stick around because that's exactly what I'm going to talk about. On my channel, I always release videos on digital marketing and passive income strategies, so consider subscribing. Also, if you want, you can click on the link below to get access to my recession-proof business model that will teach you how to build an online business from the ground up. So don't worry if you have zero experience because you'll get the best training that will make you the top market. Great, let's get to the content. So when it comes to affiliate marketing, there are a lot of pros and a lot of cons. And sometimes those pros and cons intertwine and they're related to each other. Let's talk about the cons. So the first con I'm going to point out is that there's a lot of competition. When you're doing affiliate marketing, especially in today's age, you're not the only one that's doing it. There's a lot of other people doing it because of because of how easy it is to do and how, how accessible it is for people to just do it from anywhere they want. So you'll be competing with thousands of affiliate marketers out there, probably promoting the same product or, or maybe in the same category or niche. The second con is if you're a beginner, there's a lot of crappy and misleading information about affiliate marketing and how to start it. You need to you need to really sift through the information and see what is valuable before you even implement those ideas into your own business because this is your own business. You want the good stuff, right? You want the good information that can help you scale and build and move beyond expectations, right? That's the reason why you're doing affiliate marketing because you want to make money that can potentially replace your job, right? Because it can. So that's why getting good information is critical. And there's a crap ton of crap out there. The third con is there's a lot of upfront work. Potentially you'll be building this business of yours without seeing a dime in your pocket, without without receiving anything in return for, for at least the first three months. Everyone's affiliate marketing experience is different, but the average first sale is made about on the third month. So if you can't afford to do affiliate marketing, make sure you're, you're, you have a source of income before you do it so that you can pay your bills and actually put food on the table for yourself, right? So moving along to the next con is that there's some technical work involved, some computer wizardry that you need to learn so that that wizardry becomes more of a step-by-step -step follow. -through. But that's okay because that's why coaches exist. If you don't know how to do something, you can look it up or hire someone to help you with some courses you can alleviate some stress and get some good pointers but make sure you find the right one because like i said before there's a lot of crap out there so the last con i'm going to talk about today is the probably the biggest con that makes people avoid affiliate marketing is is having the stigma of a salesperson because when people think of salespeople, they think of car dealerships uh, as car salesmen where they're always tacking on fees they're they're also lying they're also they're also misleading and they're just finding ways to make your hard-earned money well you can be that person but the way i do it and the way that uh the people that i meet do it they don't no they're not they're not slimy sales people because the technique i use the technique i practice myself is actually called selling without selling and, and to simply put it think of a situation where when you were in high school you wanted to catch a movie with a friend after school after class and how do you ask that friend of yours to go with you you convince them right you convince them it's going to be fun it's, it's, this is a really big blockbuster movie that that you want to see and they never heard of and eventually because they want to have fun with you right because you know that movie is going to be awesome again think of the avengers think of batman meeting superman for the first time on screen right that just gets you super excited. Or if you're one of those students where you plan to skip school one day, but you didn't want to do it alone. So you convince your friends to do it with you so that you can uh, to hang out somewhere. So selling without selling is pretty much the same thing. You're promoting a product because you, you know it's going to be awesome and you want them to experience the same thing as you. If you watch my earlier videos, you can, you can see that I was a little bit uh, chubbier than now. That's because I follow a routine called keto diet and it actually helped me lose the weight I gained from uh, from from COVID from from the pandemic times when uh, when when I was just sitting at home watching TV and uh, and just eating all, all day without even knowing that I was because carbs are everywhere. Carbs are cheap and carbs are the only thing that was really available next to me. That's why I gained weight 
But because I gained that weight, a lot of health issues arise. And that's why there's a moment that I knew I needed to lose weight to be healthy again, to, to, to build my immune system again, right? I knew I needed to lose weight, but I didn't want to give up the good foods, the good barbecue, because summer was coming, right? And I didn't want to give up barbecue, which is one of my favorite things to do, one of my favorite pastimes. So this was the opportune time for me to do the keto diet, because keto diet is basically just eating really good food, just omitting carbs eating fatty foods like like cheeseburgers just omit the buns and just wrap it around with lettuce and that's about it it still tastes really good you're just omitting the carbs so if you're a carb lover then keto is probably not for you you have to find a, other ways to, to to lose weight so those are cons of affiliate marketing and with time they might change until those changes are made then i'll make another video about those so with that said i hope you enjoyed this video and found it valuable if you did, please uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. I, I usually read all the comments and uh, respond to them. And the truth about affiliate marketing is that affiliate marketing got a little bit harder, not because of the competition, because search engines and social media's uh, policies and, and terms of service updates have made it so that can't really just post their links on their websites because there's a lot of bad apples that do affiliate marketing as well. By spamming, by scamming, by, by doing all these negative things that create the stigma for affiliate marketing. If you want to do it the right way and avoid being banned by these uh, these these platforms, these the search engines and uh, social media, then you should click the link down below and, and learn it the proper way, the proper way of doing affiliate marketing. You'll get a free 4-day video trainings on how you can do affiliate marketing by providing value and helping people solve problems. And we promote the positivity of affiliate marketing because there's always a benefit to help people, right? Well, if you want to find out how, be sure to click on the link down below in the description. And I'll see you on the other side. Thank you for joining me in this session. I hope you learned some valuable tips and tricks to begin your affiliate marketing career. If you want to find out more about doing affiliate marketing the right way, consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video if you liked it, and hit the bell icon if to be notified when I upload a new video. For more tips, be sure to subscribe into my email list and get the 8-step Affiliate Marketing Mastery Guide for free. And I'll see you on the other side.